Dear first the prep, today we will talk a new lesson on powers also its negative powers. We have the rules here, we took the rules for the positive, multiplying numbers, we add powers, dividing we subtract powers and raising a power all over power, it will be multiplying. I have here another rule, it's one new rule which is the negative if my power is negative. So if A here is negative N, A is any number, N is any number. So if I have a number raised to negative power, I will take the multiplicative inverse of the number or the reciprocal, reciprocal of the number, it will make of course here is a but over 1 it will be 1 over a to make then the power from negative to positive for example if I have 2 power negative 3 2 here is over 1 so I will make find the multiplicative inverse of 2 to make power negative 3 the power 3 so it will be 1 over 2 power 3 now this is a step or a new step in your problem. If you have a negative power, you have to change it into positive power. Negative power is not in the simplest form. I can leave it 1 over 2 power 3. This is, is a simplest form or I can find the answer 1 over 8 or not. But in the negative power, you can't leave the problem in this step 2 power negative 3. We will and we will show that in the examples the second rule the opposite of the first if 2 power n is equal to 1 over a power negative n for example 3 power 5 power 2 is 1 over 5 power negative 2 so now I have if I have 5 power negative 2 down I can write it 5 power 2 and find the reciprocal of the number Number three, if it's a fraction already inside the power, if it's a over b power negative n, I'll find the multiplicative inverse will make it b over a power n. For example, if I have a number like three over four power negative two, to change the power from negative to positive, I will find the multiplicative inverse of the base. So four over three power two. For example, find each of the following in the simplest form. 2 power 4 times 2 power negative 2. Don't change the negative power from the first of the example. First, I will do my uh, last steps for the neg positive powers. It's a multiplying operation. I should to add the powers. Both of them is 2. Don't change it into 1 over 2. It will make two different bases. Now, both of them is two in the base, and it is multiplying operation, so I can add the powers. If I have, if I make two power four plus negative two, it will be two power two equal four. So here I don't need to change the number upside down or to find the negative or to find the multiplicative inverse of the number, I will make my steps. As I said in the rules, it's only a new step. If you make the last steps already like this, you don't need a new step. And you will deal with the negative power as the positive power, both are the same. Example two here, five power negative two over five power negative three. We will think with this, the previous rules. This is divided. In divided, we subtract the powers. Don't think about the negative powers right now. You will think it later. So it will be negative two minus negative three. It will be five power one, which is five. Again, we don't use the new rule, which is find the reciprocal of the number right now. Till now. Number three, three power two raised to a new power, power negative two. Here, what we do, we will multiply the powers because I have one base and two powers. We multiply the powers. 
3 power 2 times negative 2, it will be 3 power negative 4. Now, there is nothing to do and it is a negative power. Now, I will find the reciprocal of the number or the multiplicative inverse of the number. 3 here is over 1, so I will write it 1 over 3 power 4. So, negative power is not the final or the simplest answer. I have to continue after that to find the answer. I have to change the negative power into positive first, then find the answer 1 over 81. Example 4. 6 power negative 3 times 6 power 5 over 6 power 2. It's a familiar example. I will do what I was, I used to do in the positive power. I have a problem up and a problem down. But here is multiplying and don't think in the negative power right now. Here all of them are 6, so I will do my steps first. This is multiplying, we will add the powers. So it will be 6 power 2 over 6 power 2 minus little powers, it will be 1. So again, I didn't change the number upside down because there is no need to do that. Example number 5. Here, I have a problem inside. You have two options here. First, to solve the problem inside the bracket, then raise it to power negative two, or distribute power negative two all over all of them, and after that, make the multiplication. You have, it's your choice here. Multiply first and divide, then distribute the power, or distribute the power first, then multiply and divide. Here I will multiply the numbers and divide it first. Inside I have a problem up, I have a problem down. Forget about it, the bracket up of negative 2 now. Here, inside 5 power 3 times 5 power negative 2, adding the powers, there will be 5 power 1. Down, 5 power negative 1, multiplied by 5 power 4, it will be 5 power 3, after adding the powers. I still inside the bracket. I have here divided 5 power 1 over 5 power 3. In divided, we subtract the powers. It will be 1 minus 3, which is 5 power negative 2. And I have outside negative 2. Now I have only one base, 5 and 2 powers. Multiply the powers negative 2 times negative 2 equal 4. And the 5 power 4 is 652. So the negative power are not difficult. Don't think that the negative power will change your steps or you, the rules you already know. In multiplication, we add powers. In divided, we subtract powers. In For the two powers, we multiply them for the same base. Another example. Or another solution, as we said before, we can distribute first. So I can distribute. 3 times negative 2 will be negative 6. Negative 2 times negative 2 equal 4. And distribute it down here. 5 power negative 1 and negative 2 equal 5 power 2. And 5 power 4, 5 power negative 2 will be 5 power 8. Then we multiply, adding little powers up, adding 2 powers down, subtracting little powers. Also, we will get the same result. Another example here. Here, I have multiplication and distributing. But here, I don't have options like the other example. Here, I have to distribute first. 7 power 3 power 2, it will be 7 power 6. 7 power negative 4 power 2 again, it will be four, 7 power negative 4. Here, multiplying, both of them is 7, are 7. We will add powers, it will be 7 power 2 equal 49. Again, we didn't use the rule of the negative power, which is find, uh, change the number upside down. Don't panic when you see a negative power. Here, I have two different bases. It's like lesson one, the powers, or the repeated multiplication. So here, different bases, but both of them have the same power, negative three. So, I will first change the number. This is power negative 3. 
so I will make it 5 power over 3 I will change the number inside the power so this is 3 over 5 power negative 3 I will make it 5 over 3 power 3 and the same here it's a negative power I will make it positive by changing the number upside down 5 4 over 5 would be 5 over 4 now both of them is power 3 I will write only one power outside and make the dividing operation inside it's like we reverse the operation of distributing the power here both of them is 3 so it was divided and he distributed the power it was like this so we will find the dividing first then the power distributed up and down it will equal 64 over 27 the last example x power 5 times x power negative 2 times x power negative 3 all of them is x so we will add the powers 5 power negative 2 plus negative 2 plus negative 3 equal x power 0 equals 1 so again don't panic when you see letters the letters are the same as the numbers so x power 2 or negative 3 divided x power negative 1 power 2 we will distribute the powers here by multiplying to be x power negative 6 multiplying here divided x power negative 2 divided is subtracting for the powers x power negative 4 here I can't leave it like this negative 4 is not in the simplest form so I will change it upside down to will be 1 over x power 4 here example we will work inside the bracket multiplying up it will be x power 1 after adding the powers down we will add the powers it will be x power negative 3 all raised to power negative 2 divided first minus little power x power 4 minus negative 2 equal x power negative 8 and we will change it upside down 1 over x power 8 the last example y power 5 times y power negative 2 all to the power 3 multiplying here is adding the powers y power 3 power 3 multiplying to the powers equal y power 9 and this is our lesson thank you for listening